Here are five cool things that you can do with your phone right now. You can do it with your current phone or you can do it with that old phone that you still have laying around. All of these are totally, totally free. So dust off that old phone and let's get started. Why buy a security cam when you can use your old phone as your security cam? You can still monitor it from anywhere and it even has motion detection built in. Head over to alfred.camera. Yes, that's a real domain. It's simple security at your fingertips and it is absolutely free. Now get it on the Google Play or download from the Apple Store, install it on two phones, sign up and pair with the same email address and that's it. So let's test this. I wanna fire it up on my phone. It's gonna ask me to log in. So I create my email address and I'm gonna use the same account on my computer and my phone. Change from viewer to camera. Switching to camera, yes, I'm gonna confirm. And there's my camera working, you can clearly see that. And it's got motion detection, which I really love. I can enable or disable that. Now to view the footage, I'm gonna to go to a second device. This could be my computer or another phone as well. So here it is on my computer. And just like that, I got security camera system set up and I can add additional phones too. Pretty cool. You can use your old phone as a wireless trackpad or a wireless mouse for your computer. You can control your computer without getting up and this is especially useful if you're watching a movie or playing music through your computer. Simply control it from your phone. Here's how to do that. Head over to remotemouse.net, click on the Get Now button. Two steps, download the remote mouse app. This could be on your phone or your tablet. Then step number two is install the remote mouse for your desktop, the Mac or the Windows or the Linux one. Then make sure that your mobile device and your computer are on the same Wi-Fi, and that's critical, same Wi-Fi. Now that you've done that, let me show you what it looks like. So here's my remote mouse application on my phone. I simply opened it up. It tells me, well, where am I gonna connect this to? My laptop, click on that, and that's it. I'm simply connected. Now look at the mouse icon on the screen. You can see I'm controlling it straight from my phone by moving it around. In fact, there it is, just makes it a little bit clearer. And it does a couple of things. Obviously you can left click, but of course you can right click as well. So it's super, super handy. Now it's got this entire dial dedicated, especially to media. Another cool thing, it's got these shortcuts that you can use, but these are actually locked behind a paid version. So if you want the pro features, of course you can simply pay for them. If you don't want that, well, guess what? This can actually be used as a keyboard as well. So simply type whatever you need to type in and it will type it on your computer and there it is. Did you know you can use your phone or your tablet as a second or even a third screen? Head over to spacedesk.net and you wanna scroll down that page until you see the driver software for Windows, the primary PC. Now this works on Windows 10 and Windows 11. I'm actually running mine on Windows 11 without a problem. Then the secondary bit is you've got to install it on your phone. Now the App Store or the Google Play Store, and this is what it looks like. Click on that connection and instantly a second screen appears. Now, right now, it's actually a mirroring whatever's on the screen. It's actually mirroring that on my phone. So you don't miss anything. If you want to step away from your computer, you can carry on watching that movie. But look at this. You can go to the display setting and then you can select an extend display. So now this becomes screen number two or number three, as many as you have. And you can even take something from your main screen and drag it to your phone. I think this is super, super useful. Look, we all know that the built-in webcams aren't the best. And we know that phone cameras are pretty darn good. So why not use your phone as a webcam for your computer? And it's wireless. So if you need to get a drink during that Zoom call, you can simply take your camera with you. Head over to dev47apps.com. This turns your phone or tablet into a webcam for your PC. Again, two steps. The first one is the client one. You can download the appropriate app for your phone. And the second one is the PC component. So it's got the Windows and it's got the Linux one. Choose which one you're gonna be operating. Right, now let's fire this up on my phone over here. Now I'm gonna have this IP address here that's neatly laid out on the screen. Simply type that same IP address into a web browser and it will instantly connect. And now you have a webcam. We've all seen those dash cam videos of the terrible drivers that are out there and having footage can actually help you in case you're involved in an accident. But instead of buying a dash cam, use your phone 
as a dash cam. This is a perfect use case for that old phone. You just need to get one of those suction cups that you can mount in your car, charge your phone via the USB and run the software. In a couple of steps, you're good to go. So head over to your app store, whether it's iOS or whether it's Google Play, I'm using Google Play, I search for dash cam and there's a whole host of applications. I just simply chose the first one, Droid Dash Cam Video Recorder. I think that works pretty cool. And here it is on my phone, simply fire it up and you get a bunch of things. Now, firstly, it gives you the speed that you're currently traveling. That kind of works pretty okay. It's got your address, it's got the satellite, the GPS. On the right hand side, you got the ability to play with the exposure to make it brighter or darker. Good for night settings. Snap a quick photo of something that's going on on the road and you simply hit the record button when you get going. And now you've got a full functioning dash cam and ideal usage for your old phone. There are many apps that you can use to achieve these tasks. I just picked the ones that I use, but feel free to look around and download the ones that work for you. And if you have other uses for your old phones, please share with us in the comments. We would love to see them. And if you haven't already seen what you can do with your USB drive, check out this video over here or check out this video over here that YouTube thinks that you would love. Hit the head to subscribe if you got any value from my channel and I will see you in this video or this video or I'll see you in both. Let's go.